Okay, that's enough. Anyway, <laughs> it's my birthday today anyway. And um, today also I wanted to launch Your Awakened Voice because it's my birthday. So when else to launch it than on a day that's significant to me? So the 24th of October, mark it in your diaries so we can celebrate on time next year. Um, but I'm going to keep it brief and I, all I want to do is just go through the content of the course so you understand what's included and what's going to happen during the course of the course. So the course itself, I'm just getting the information up because there's a lot there. The course itself is fully audio. So it's something that you can actually take uh, on your journey as well. So you can have it in your ears and there's parts of it that you can listen to as well. Because I want you to really focus on your voice and your body as opposed to be uh, watching me and trying to see what I'm doing. Most of it is very easy to follow. Hi for everyone who's jumping in as well. I'm just talking about your awakened voice that I've launched today. It's, it's all out. It's in the open. Here it is for you. And I just want to go through some of the components of the course itself. So this voice, co voice course is for the speaking voice as well. So even though I've got a background in singing, this is about this is about you. Um, this is about your spoken voice and getting into the resonance of your voice. And um, over over the week or so as well, I'll kind of dra drag on a few of my um, ex students and other people that I've work worked with for their voice, so they can actually say and let you know exactly how they've experienced me working with their voice and the different changes that they've experienced as well. So that's what you'll be able to hear it from the horse's mouth as it were. So I'm just opening up for you as well. So this is for your spoken voice. And there are roughly, let me get to the part as well, about 20, 28 different lessons within this. So it's a deep, comprehensive uh, course for you. So what you get included is the beginning, you've got the information about the course and how to use the course as well. And also some deeper um, thoughts from me about the world needing your voice and my thoughts on resonance and giving you an example of my own vocal transformation. Um, because if I've told you before that before my voice was very light, very unconnected, you know, so I managed to find the, the resonance of my voice and, and really be able to embody it and be confident to em embody my voice. And so we'll go through that. You'll hear how I change my voice. You'll get an idea how it will work for you as well. Hi to everyone who's coming in. Um, and then the next part is ending your story. So one of the reasons that you can't go forward or it's hard to go forward is because you're hanging on to a story about your voice. You've got a feeling or an idea of what it is that your voice sounds like or somebody's told you something and you've taken on that belief. So this is about you dropping that story so that you can actually move into the, the part of you that's already there that has an awakened voice. So what that the way that that will happen is there will be a visualisation. You'll be able to do some journaling as well and really just get on paper and get clear about what stories you're holding onto about your voice. And then the visualisation will then get you into the space and the feeling about what does it feel like? What do you look like? Who are you when you're speaking from that voice? Who are you when you're in your confidence? So you get to start to experience that. After that, then it's freeing your instruments. So we always think about the voice just being here, but the, your voice is everywhere. Your, your whole body is your instrument. And the more that you can actually uh, release 
the stress around your body, the more that you can release the tension around your body is the more that you're going to be able to move freely with your body as well. So this is a great movement exercise to really get you to feel the energy and loosen some of those tightnesses and tightnesses, blocks, stiffness, whatever you're holding on to. This one will actually help you to start to feel what it's like to be loose and energetic because your body needs to be loose as you're going to be working on your voice. After that, there's going to be an introduction into breathing because breathing is going to help open up your spaces as well. But also, this is how you're going to be able to transmute your voice out into the world. And a lot of the time, if you've seen one of my previous videos this week, I was talking about the breath. And often when somebody is asking you to breathe, you're taking a really shallow breath, assuming that that is your deep breath. And, and your deep breath is not. Your, your breath is all the way down to your belly and you're holding that and you're expanding that. And then you're able to uh, release the breath at will, but also over time as well. So it's not just about breathing out, but it's also about releasing the breath. But also releasing the breath takes a lot of energy, takes a lot of muscular control. So it's you getting to build that with yourself as well. So the breathing section will help you work on how you're going to get your breathing together. Then after that, there is a section on the throat chakra because a lot of the time when we're not speaking our truth, we're not feeling into our throat chakra, we're not connected there. So this is going to get you to uh, hum and get the resonance that is going to work, the, the, the mantra that is connected to the throat chakra is hum. So this will be a deep exercise, will help to release the throat chakra. And I've heard it been said as well, like when you have tightness around the throat, then your heart energy is not able to rise. It's almost like a block, like a block in a chimney and everything is all in the head. And when we're speaking our truth and when we're speaking uh, a resonance and to resonate with other people, then we want to be able to have that freedom and that loose channel so that your voice and your energy and your your intention is flowing freely, that you, you're not your heart intention isn't stuck here it's able to come through and through and out then after that is the big section on building your vocal resonances so there's different areas of where your vocal resonance is so you've got your your chest cavity you've got your throat you've got your head and by do, doing all of these different resonances you're also going to start to feel what it feels like when your voice is moving in these areas as well and what that feels like the vibration and the resonance of those voice of your voice in that area like I said, this is for speaking, but the resonance, if you can just get the resonance of your voice uh, and think of your voice as an instrument, whether you're speaking or whether you're singing, this is what is going to get you to have that voice that people recognize and people feel because you bring a musicality to your voice even though you're not singing. So that's when you when you hear people who've got this kind of voice that you just want to be around all the time there's something that's musical there's something that's resonant about that and all of these as exercises will help you so you've got the mouth resonance chest resonance nasal resonance and then also uh, a resonance mix exercise as well so in that section there are about nine exercises as well and one of the things that I do recommend as well doing this course is not to just charge through it is actually take your time over doing these exercises, doing each section. So you can actually spend a day or two with each section so that you really understand and embody what it is that each area and each component of and each module is actually bringing to you and how that's opening up for you. The section after that is really powerful because this is healing with your name. And one of the things that I would like to get you to experience is how healing your name is. And before you go out into the world and start to share your voice and share your message, you want to feel the impact of the healing of your own voice on yourself. 
And if you think back to when you were a baby, one of the most healing things that anyone could do when you were feeling sad or when you needed a bit of comfort was just to say your name and say your name in such a way that it just brought such a comfort to you. So this exercise will invite you to feel the resonance of your own name when you actually work with your own name itself. So really powerful one, actually quite emotional one as well. The first time I ever did that, it, it really kind of got deep to me and it just highlighted to me the the strength and the resonance and the power of my voice and the healing aspect of my voice. And this is available to everyone. We all have it. We all have it within us. Then the next section is about speaking in resonance. So now that you've got familiar with the different areas of resonance within your body, this is an exercise to get you to start to speak and, 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 and speak from those different places and feel now what it is when your voice is resonating out into the world and you'll feel it within yourself. It'll be like, whoa, OK, my voice can do this. My voice is this powerful. And it is. Uh, all of our bodies are instruments and we have these areas that we can have the voice resonating from. And when you really feel that within yourself and start to speak from that place, one, it's very comforting to you. Um, one of the things that I can say about my own voice over time is the the more that I started to bring my voice into the space of resonance, the more I felt healed by speaking my to myself, feeling the vibration and also really having that vibration in this chest area as well, which is one of the favorite places I like to speak from, is that it's, it's very comforting to me. And the first time I was able to feel my voice from that place, it, um, it was actually quite moving. It was a shock, actually, because it was bringing my voice from where it was before, very light and disconnected. And I can feel how it's moved away from that space to back, bringing it down to where it belongs and where it feels good and where I can talk from. It feels rooted. It feels powerful. After that, we have got silence. So as much as it is that we have our voice and we use our voice, our voice is equally as powerful when we don't use it. And that sometimes takes a lot more power to be able to know when not to use your voice, to know when to hold the silence and holding the silence and holding the space. So you'll be able to feel through the difference of what it is when you're speaking, what it is when you're in that resonance, and then what it is when you're holding space and holding silence. Because as you speak, it's the silence that people fall into when they're trying to work out what's next. You've brought them in for a moment. And if you are not powerful in your silence and you want to just kind of speak, speak, speak so that there's all some, always something going on, then you don't give people the opportunity to feel what your voice can do or the space that your voice can hold. So that in itself is a, a magical, a magical space for you as well. And then finally, what I've included, because as with anything that we do, the only way that we build is that we practice and you know there's no other way about it when i've taught um piano i used to teach a lot of students before and the students that would be the most frustrated with me and blame my teaching were the ones that just didn't practice so week on week they always wanted more from me it's like well give me something else to do give me something else to do and the thing is I can only build on what you've done once you've embodied what I've taught you so that it's uh, a layering of of information. You know, when it came to the piano, I can teach you to play a tune like a monkey, but you're not going to know what it is that you're doing. And when you get into situations where you're challenged and you need to pull on technique or understand what you're doing, you won't have that foundation. So there's a daily practice section, which is about 10 12 minutes or so, which includes 
all of the exercises so the breathing exercises and the resonant exercises that you can take and you can do that every day because then you can start to really feel what it is to get your breath correct and feel what it is to also practice your resonance and expand on your resonance as well and also you can use this for a warm-up so if you're about to go online if you're about to do your podcast if you're about to give a public speech then use this as your um as your daily practice because that's the way that you get better that's the way that it works and that's the conclusion and that's the course and it's all launched now i'll be reposting this and i'll put the link in my profile as well so that you can enjoy the course but because it's my birthday I have decided to add a little bit extra to it. So today I am 51 years old, believe it or not. And so for the next 51 hours from now, anyone who joins my course, the first three people who join my course will not only get access to the course, but will also get a one hour session with me, 60 minutes with me, where you can have a conversation with me about anything to do with your voice, you can, um, if you've got any issues that you want to me to help you with, if you want to find out how the course can help you, anything like that. You've got me for 60 minutes and you can um, and you can ask me anything. And that's part of the birthday gift to you. If within the next 51 hours you join the course as well. So I hope that gives you some information. I'm so excited to launch this course. It is um, the, the, the transformation of my own voice and the way that it changed my life and allowed me to, um, to speak up in the world and sing in the world and also show up and speak in my life is um, second to none, you know? And so many of us want to speak out and we're just kind of trapped by thoughts that we think our voice is this or our, our voice is that. So, um, so I see a few of you there. Um, has anyone got any questions? What do I do? This is my first live. So if I'm just kind of like making a mess of it, <laughs> Um, I'm trying to wave at people as well. So let me just see if I can wave at anyone who's still there as well. So I hope you get the waves. But if there are no other questions, what I'll do is I will repost this video. I'm just pressing everything. <laughs> I will repost this video and you can re-watch it if you join me at the end as well so that you can find out a bit more about it. If when you've watched the video, you've got more questions, you want to know a little bit more about um, what it is, the course is in, what's involved in the course, let me know, drop any comments, send me a, a direct message if you want to and I can keep uh, making videos and responding to any of the questions that you have. So thank you for joining me. It was totally impromptu. I only kind of decided I was going to do this like half an hour ago. Um, enjoy the day. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my birthday and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.